I think it's a really interesting time right now. And it's not just about wrestling, but I think somehow we have strayed away as women, I won't say women, but as a society, there has been an over-sexualization of women. And then at the same time, as a reaction to that, as a response to that, I feel like women are forgetting that that's what makes us women. And that is one of our strengths. And that's what makes us beautiful. And that's what makes us powerful is that we are multifaceted. We are not men. So yes, we can be physical. Yes, we can be athletic. Yes, we can be mothers. Yes, we can be girlfriends and wives, but we're also sexual beings and that's okay. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Um, I do understand the era we're in right now, which is a PG era. I get that. I would like to see the Divas division have a little bit more edginess, a little bit more sexiness. Um, I think that women can do all things and I think that should be represented also within the brands. But there is a time and place for everything. And I think that this era is serving its purpose. And hopefully when we come out of this era, we can have something that's a little bit more balanced because there is, there should be something for everybody. Is there um, any particular female wrestler that you think about? You look back on and you go, oh, that's someone I strive to be like, I idolize. I can never stop giving her her flowers. I think that Melina is underpraised and undervalued. I think she personifies what a diva is. She's controversial, she's sexy, she's athletic as hell, she's a great show woman, she's all of those things. And somebody that can evoke such emotion, sometimes a visceral reaction from, from fans, is really endearing. And that's what wrestling's all about. It's about how much emotion can you draw from your fans. Right. And I think she's one of the best. And I hope, to, I hope one day we get to see her in the Hall of Fame.